Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a three card spread for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for July 2019. I'm sorry I've been out of town and I got back yesterday, so I'm trying to finish up the July readings. Okay, Sagittarius, you have three cards here the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, for the first one, when the Knight of Swords is uh, I can't talk today. When the Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse, um, it's showing here that you have unstable finances or maybe you're feeling unstable some sort of way. Um, your money isn't right. Money isn't coming in. You don't have enough money to go around for your bills. You know, your money is, you have inadequate sums of money. You don't have the freedom to move and do the things that you want. Um, usually when you get the Nine of Pentacles, it's not good to be too generous with your money because you might need it for yourself or something else. So what this card is telling you is to um, hang on to your money. Don't spend it to see, you know, what bills you need to pay. But you have the Knight of Wands rushing in. Whenever you see a horse, that means movement. And you see how the horse is up high. He's rushing in. So this guy here is going to be offering you something but it's going to be quick so you might be getting offered a new job uh that pays a lot better it looks like things are going to be turning around but when it comes to you you need to grab it quick because the knight of one rushes in quickly he doesn't stay so if you're being offered a new job grab it quickly because it could be offered to someone else and you will lose out on that this is what i'm seeing since this is the financial card, and then you got something rushing in. You might get new opportunities, whether it be school, relationship, uh, job, or, you know, whatever. Something is rushing in to help you, so grab it quick. And then the, the Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle, okay? You see how the man's laying there? He's dead. Um, so it's the end of a karmic cycle. So it looks like things are going to be turning around for you financially, um, maybe you've had bad luck in the last three months or so and you haven't been able to pay anything. Um, but with this new month coming in, you got new opportunities rushing in here. And the end of a karmic cycle, meaning the end of your poverty, the end of not having no money, the end of not being successful. Um, so it looks like new things are going to be rushing in for you and you're going to move up from this point on. Don't uh, pass up any opportunity. If someone offers you a job, at least look into it. Don't wait too long. Like, don't wait a couple of days before you answer the email or the phone call. Answer it right away so you can grab that opportunity because it'll go by quickly. Like I said, the Knight of Wands rushes in and out quick. So there might be somebody else waiting for the same job and they might grab it if you don't. Okay? Or whatever the opportunity is that you're waiting on. It could be, you know... Um, something about a relationship or a job some type of project school or whatever it may be that you're waiting on grab it okay because once you do it shows here the end of a cycle that things are going to start turning around for you and you won't be in that poverty position anymore okay we're fixing to have mercury retrograde on july 7th so that's going to be also the ending of things whenever mercury retrogrades it's the redo planet it ends things so it might be ending for you the ending of poverty the ending of the cycle that you've been in and you're going to start over also when mercury retrograde comes you need to be careful when you travel um because usually people have breakdowns or crashes when they travel so be careful with that if you are going to travel pack as if you were going to break down bring extra blankets water or food or what have you and be also mercury retrograde makes you lose things so be careful where you lay down your keys your cell phone your eyeglasses because you might misplace those um also don't sign any major contracts with mercury retrograde because you'll miss a clause and you'll end up buying a lemon like if you buy a car or a house don't do that during mercury retrograde wait wait till august um also, with Mercury Retrograde, uh, don't buy anything with moving parts because you end up buying a lemon like a car. Anything electrical, don't buy those until it passes in August because they won't work. Uh, the last thing, computers crash during Mercury Retrograde. 
I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. I'm struggling to get my words out for some reason. I'm feeling this type of energy where I'm struggling to get my words out. Um, also, with Mercury retrograde, if your phone starts messing up this month in the month of July, don't run out and buy a new one. Wait till this phase passes because it'll start working again. It makes our cell phones work slow uh, or just not work at all, but... Don't run out and buy a new one because you'll have the same problem. After Mercury retrograde, if your phone is still that way, then I would suggest to go get a new contract in August. But I wouldn't do it right now. Okay, so that is your reading for Sagittarius, July 2019. It looks like you're about to turn around. Things are rushing in for you, which are good. Grab them as soon as possible. Look into them. And you're going to be ending some type of cycle. It could be You could be ending a cycle with a romance job. A uh, old way of life, a new way of life is coming because you've completed that karmic debt. So there's a new way of life coming. So go ahead and grab it and go from there. Don't forget to pray, meditate, bring things uh, into existence by speaking them out. You can write things down on paper and that brings them in. Okay, so that is your reading for Sagittarius, July 2019. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and please come again for another reading. Thank you.